Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Buy new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Joining me here for tonight, uh, Mary Bontrager. Mary, I got to say this much, heck of an effort from you guys here for tonight. I got one question for you because this is an important one. After a match like this, what's for supper? Is it leftovers, lasagna, chicken? What's in there? Actually, after I came home from school today, I was going to find some meat for him today, but it wasn't much, so I just ate carrots and ranch. Oh, come on. I'm just kidding, but I'll tell you what, heck of an effort from your girls here for tonight. I uh, want to ask you, you know, you come up here for an hour trip, the bus ride, um, it's got to be interesting. What's kind of, walk me through kind of the bus ride up here for an hour. What were you talking with your girls about here coming up to tonight? Well, the bus ride was making sure we're good, you're ready to get things done, your mindset, and just kind of chill out before our nerves come, which is usually right before the game. Absolutely. Is there a certain playlist you put on? I know for me, getting pumped up, there's certain songs to listen to. Any sort of songs that have kind of pumped you up coming into tonight? Oh, definitely One Direction, all the time, always playing. Favorite song by One Direction? Oh, definitely. I like all of them. All of them. Okay, well, hey, there we go. Uh, you know, this is a game you knew these guys coming into tonight. Played them twice before during the season. Talk to me about what Ridview brought to the table. I, I saw that Voss, the Voss girl, was swinging very well here for tonight. But talk, walk me through what you saw from Ridgeview here tonight. Yes, they're always going across and there's no line, so it's not hard to go over the block, but we were mainly trying to take cross away, but yes. No, I no, I know, I know that much. But I tell you what, heck of an effort from you girls. I, I, in set number two, it really looked like that you guys were getting some confidence back. You started getting ahead, started really working well. What was sort of that momentum change for you in that set? Oh, we were just hitting hard, and we were realizing that that was really working for us. And when it hits the ground, it gets really exciting, and we always get pumped up. I want to ask you, because the great thing I saw from at least you guys here tonight is you guys were talking with each other a lot throughout that match. What were some of those discussions you had during the match? Just to keep it going, watch the ball, the hands are going, and just hustling after everything. I think the one thing that you guys got right here tonight was your serves. Um, was that kind of a big aspect you guys were working on uh, coming up to this contest tonight? Yeah, we're always working on getting our serves in and keeping them tough, but also in and out of that. Because I think that was kind of the biggest momentum changer for this team is that Ridgeview was kind of serving long and away and you guys were just nailing them day in and day out. Um, but talk to me just about other aspects of this game here tonight. What do you think went well for your team as a whole? I think um, just when we were hitting hard is really when we had our best and our communication is all that. And I tell you what, I think you guys communicated well throughout the match, saw all of that all throughout. Uh, and I tell you what, heck of an effort. I know it's uh, I know it's disappointing coming into this, but you got to feel happy just about uh, the effort that your girls put into yeah. tonight. Mary Bontrager, once again, thank you so very much for coming up here and talking with me. Thank you. Absolutely. Mary Bontrager again with the uh, East Sac Raiders. We'll turn over the mic to uh, the one in the boot, I guess. <laughs> it is uh, Olivia Grody. Uh, Olivia, once again, thank you so much for joining me here tonight. Um, I know it must be difficult to kind of watch this match from the sidelines, but talk to me real quick about what you saw from your girls tonight. And you guys were at times. I think from what Mary said, you know, you guys swung hard at times, got some really good things. I think the one thing that, you know, Ridgeview had here tonight was some really good swinging potential. So talk to me sort of about what you saw. How do you guys think you responded to those swings? You know, we saw that they were hitting very good power alley. They were hitting cross the court like none other. So trying to move the block over instead of taking the line and taking the cross, that's a big thing that we needed to do. And just covering the ball and not letting it hit the floor. Set number one, 25 to 14, and uh, you guys obviously come back and win a great set two, 25 to 20. What was clicking there in set two? I think the first set there was a lot of nerve going on. It seemed everybody was very tense and afraid to make mistakes. And then in set two, it seemed everything was coming together. Hits were going down, everyone was covering the ball, same line, everything seemed to work out like this. In some of those sets, you guys made timeouts when it was tied, you were just kind of down. What were some of the conversations you guys were having at those timeouts? Just that if you make a mistake, get out there. Don't let it get down. You know, everyone's going to make mistakes, but don't let it be a game to try to make mistakes. 
And I'll tell you what, uh, super excited for you. You get that boot off here in about a week. Tell me how happy you are about, about that one. <laughs> there you go. Um, one more thing, you know, uh, from Ridgeview, this is a good team that you've seen already two times before tonight. Um, talk to me about the effort from the girls tonight. How proud are you of uh, are you of their performance? I'm super proud of them, even all season. I mean, coming to, I mean, coming from a team that really never played varsity before and being super underestimated, we came out and showed that you know we can make it. We're a good team too. I was gonna say, kind of excited for yeah. just the development of these younger kids yeah. too. Absolutely right. Well, hey, Olivia Grody, super excited for you to get out of that boot, and we thank you again for joining us here. Absolutely. Once again, Olivia Grody of the ESAC Raiders joining us. We're going to switch the mics one more time. Get head coach, if hopefully she <laughs> doesn't fall here. This is uh, head coach Brenda Ulrich. Brenda, uh, you know, this is a game, a tough game here tonight against Ridgeview. Team that you've known before, but you got to be very proud about the performance of your girls here tonight. If they came off the court, they, they just were happy that maybe that could be what we needed to get going and keep, keep it momentum. Was there anything here tonight from the Ridgeview side that maybe surprised you from the last two times, or was it just kind of the same old team you knew? Um, pretty much the same team. They, they studied their opponents their, their really well, um, and they remember you know, what, what are some of those main holes and main gaps that they can find. Um, their hitting is usually spot on, so um, we knew it was going to be a good match going into tonight. We gave our kudos to them. And, they gave it to us that you know they were gonna have a nice match tonight and hopefully they had the work for it. <laughs> yeah I think they did too I mean four sets very close sets all throughout and I think Olivia put it very nicely you guys are a young team you're gonna be able to develop some of those those uh, younger girls I mean some of them that I look at Von Drag and Meyer I mean what a night for those two. Oh yeah yeah and they, they did suit a little bit last year they saw a little bit of court time um, just to get the feel of the speed and what varsity's like um, and Addison Wheeler coming in as a freshman this year, just getting that, that speed. You can tell they're young at times, but you know, they've got so much growth in front of them and having the speed of the game in their mind, it, it'll help them as they keep progressing out each year. I think this is a great positive for this program coming into next season. Very good overall year for you guys. Um, obviously, besides getting to that next step next year, what are some of the goals you'd like to meet with this team in the offseason and in the preseason for next year? I think maybe court awareness would be something really good. We worked on communication this year, and even though they're not screaming all the time out to each other on the court, they are talking to each other. So I think we did pretty good with that. But definitely court awareness is going to be something that we need to really learn going into this. Being they're so young, they have to know how many steps they need to take and how to cover things. Absolutely. Well, uh, sorry for the loss here for tonight. A tough one, but I tell you what, great things for next year to look upon. And uh, of course, hopefully here in the next couple of days and weeks, we'll uh, send you a uh, postseason interview invite. So. Sure. <laughs> Once again, Brenda Ulrich, thank you so much for coming up and talking with us. Thank you.